very pleasant start heading out the door. Temperatures in the low 50s, even had a couple outlying spots earlier in the upper 40s. 51 degrees in Lima. We have 54 Columbus, 55 in Detroit. These cool temperatures thanks to a very, very dry air mass. In fact, the air is so dry out there continuing to eat away at any of that soil moisture out there as we continue to see this dry streak that has now reached 15 days across the area. In fact, today will be the 16th day with no rainfall measured in the area. So this morning, very pleasant. We actually do have 48 degrees for Defiance. Otherwise, the 50s, we've got thin clouds and some upper atmosphere smoke in the sky. So it's creating a very hazy look outside this morning, which is uh, filtering out a lot of that sunshine. We do notice a lot of fires that are burning across Quebec right now. The flow in the upper part of the atmosphere is out of the north. So that's drawing in all that hazy smoke right down into Ohio. So that's why the sky will have kind of that hazier look as we go throughout today and even into tomorrow as that north flow really hangs on across the area. We notice moving forward, on our timestamp here today at 5 p.m., still a lot of this hazy haziness that will linger over us. And as we move into tomorrow, it gets a little bit thinner, and I think we'll get some bluer skies in here as we head into Wednesday. So it's not going to be hazy the whole week, but off and on, we will see that haze trickle on into the area due to those wildfires with uh, such dry weather, not just here, but very dry weather up in Canada as well. So for today's forecast, we'll have those hazy skies this morning, some thin clouds moving through. and But then this afternoon, those clouds will move out. We'll still have some hazier skies, but sunshine otherwise. Temperatures will rebound 76 by 1 p.m. And we will make it back to the lower 80s for our highs this afternoon with a very dry air mass in place. Winds not as breezy as yesterday. We'll see winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour coming in from the north and east. So looking at that sky cast, we notice that little veil of clouds this morning moving its way from north to south this afternoon, looking quiet across the area. As we go into tomorrow, we'll get into some more clouds once again. So we'll call tomorrow morning mostly cloudy. But despite these clouds, there is not a lot of moisture. We notice where all this uh, moisture, the cloud cover, where it's coming from, it's not coming from a moisture-rich area. Where it's coming in from is Canada. So anytime you got a flow like this out of the northwest, it's, it's hard to get a lot of moisture. We've already got such a dry air mass as it is. It's not going to be a good chance at all to get any rain. There may be a stray shower. Even a stray shower may be pushing it for tomorrow. By and large, this is a dry week once again. With that flow very persistent, we've got a Canadian high coming on down by the middle and latter part of the week, which will give us some beautiful weather, very pleasant conditions outside. In fact, temperatures even a little bit below normal. But again, the dry weather, it's still going to hang tough. As we get into the weekend, though, that high is going to start to ship down to the south. We'll start to get a better, perhaps a better chance of getting some moisture in here by Sunday. That looks to be our real next best chance of rain that we'll see in this forecast. But again, the next several days, no rain here. We'll see some showers over parts of Indiana and Kentucky. And even there, it's going to be pretty uh, pretty light in nature. So today, we'll look at hazy conditions, some morning high clouds, and then more sunshine this afternoon, or high 81. So very pleasant out there for any outdoor plans. A good weather to open up the windows tonight. Your low 57 degrees, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. We'll see a high of 83 degrees. Wednesday, 77. Beautiful weather for the much of the work week this week. Temperatures at night in the low 50s. We'll get back up to 85 on Saturday, but ahead of our next front, which does look to bring our next best chance of rain that we've seen in a while. So again, we're going to look forward to Sunday, fingers crossed, for some showers to move in.